at over 19,000 square feet, this new facility is more than five times the size of their old location in Fruita. And the fact that I'm here on 7th Street and 3rd Avenue, owners think that more central location will help more residents dispose of their e-waste properly. And when you look at this place, not much space is wasted. This is the only local e-waste center that will demanufacture the electronics that you bring in to either reuse or dispose of properly. Officials here say electronics that are littered leak lead and other hazardous materials into the water system and air. And for what you can bring, that's anything that plugs in, has a battery or and a circuit board. Just to get it to their door and they'll take care of the rest. The best way to recycle something is to find a use for it. And that's what we try and do first and foremost. We're also getting more e-waste into our facility so that we can get it not in the BLM, not in the landfills, not in places it doesn't belong, giving our children the ability to have a better future. Now, what you're looking at right now, that's CoRecycling's data destruction method. They say it wipes data better than a factory reset on your smartphone by running hard drives through a very intense looking metal shredder. Now, since 2011, it is illegal to dump e-waste anywhere, including BLM and, and in the desert. So that 35 cents per pound that they charge here, that could be a whole lot cheaper than a dumping fine. Live in Grand Junction, I'm Brandon Thompson, News Channel 5. Mind you, you're easy to find. I don't mind being down here with you as an old single lady. And I just, I'm delighted. I will tell all my friends about you. Thank you so much.